This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short tutorial, I illustrate what video interlacing is, why deinterlacing is necessary, and why deinterlacing always degrades video image quality. Janet asks, when I use Topaz Enhance AI to convert interlaced SD video to progressive, it always changes the frame rate from 2997 to 5994. Why? Is this necessary? Some people think that 2997 looks more natural and is a better choice if there's not much movement. And the answer is, it really is in understanding what interlacing is, that you'll understand why this frame rate change is necessary. An interlaced image, which is true for all NTSC and all PAL, and some HD, first it records all of the odd number lines, that's the red line, then, a fraction of a second later, it records all the blue lines. It's that fraction of a second difference that makes the difference. Because when I display these two interlaced lines a fraction of a second apart on a TV set, they look great. But each field, which is half the odd lines or half the even lines, each field is offset in time. In order to see the entire picture, you have to see both fields at the same time. And when you display both fields at the same time, as we see on the web, all of our interlacing has these thin horizontal black lines radiating out from it. So the way that we de-interlace something is we remove half the lines. So now I create a frame which is just the blue lines and a second frame which is just the red lines. But that frame has to match half the frame rate. So at 29.97, half the frame rate means one frame is up for 1 60th of a second and the other frame is up for the other 60th of a second because that matches the field rate. And together, the two fields create the frame. So whenever you deinterlace, your frame rate doubles. The bigger question is not the frame rate, but what do you do with the missing lines? Notice that when I deinterlace the image, I only have half the lines there. How do I make up for the missing red lines? I can't display them at the same time because they are not shot at the same time. They're shot a 60th of a second apart. So I got to create one field, which is the first 60th, and a second field, which is the second 60th. Well, we have three options. One, I let the lines just go missing, and that cuts our vertical resolution in half and looks grotesque, and nobody does that. The second is I simply duplicate all the blue lines and then all the red lines. Duplication is fast and easy, but it cuts the vertical resolution in half. Doesn't look particularly great. Everything looks soft. The third is I look at the first blue line. I look at the second blue line, and I create a new line, which is a dissolve between the first and the second. So I, I blend line one into line three to create an imaginary or a new, actually, new line two. It's called frame blending. That's the easiest. The third option is that I look at line one, I look at line three, and I use sophisticated software to figure out what line two must look like, and it creates a new line two based upon its best guess of what's happening between line one and line three. This is what optical flow does. It's inventing new media. Sometimes optical flow works great. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. So, in all cases, as soon as we deinterlace, the image gets softer because half the lines went away. And now we have to figure out how we bring those lines back. And in all cases, it's manufacturing media to try to make the image look as good as it can, but not as good as if it was shot progressively in the first place. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 333. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours. 
on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.